back on the road once again. I got home from Spain Saturday, did some editing Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, drove to Salt Lake City on Wednesday, and uh, oh no, wait, today's Friday, I think. Who friggin' knows? I was home for a few days, did some editing, and now I'm back on the road, headed to Moab for the Chasing Epic group trip, and uh, I cannot wait. All right, I made it to the condos in Moab, getting my stuff all unloaded meeting a bunch of the guys and gals. This room is quite nice. So the deal with the Chasing Epic trip is I put it out there to my subscribers maybe six months ago and said, hey, if you wanna come ride with me in Moab, sign up. A bunch of people signed up and here we are today. So one of the many awesome things about Chasing Epic trips is you get a little goodie box at the beginning of the trip. You're gonna have four days of riding and I think that'll probably be pretty good. We also got these BKXC jerseys and I really like the orange color. Freaking fantastic. Got changed into my my new jersey and now we are getting loaded up. Okay, I think this is my bike. I can tell by the uh, the grips and the pedals. Brand new BMC Trail Fox. I think that's what it's called. Is it a trail fox, Steve? Yes. Okay. It looks pretty nice. Patrick's rocking the full BKXC rig. I love it. Right. Got the gloves on. The OG jersey. Hell yeah. Too. Hell yeah. All right. I'll see you guys. I'm tagging along with group one. Back in Moab, and my throat is already dry. Ooh, this uh, dropper post is set on semi-automatic. Woo! A little wake up. <laughs> so a lot of these guys haven't ridden uh, this Moab terrain before, so everything's new. Such a cool, such a cool experience. Just follow the red line. All good. Those bikes feel good. So we've we've had our first off. <laughs> mechanical. Mechanical, not off. Yeah. Is that a Bronson or a Hightower LT? This is the LT. LT, cool. Yeah, stoked. It's a nice and it's new. About one week old. I've already <laughs> had about five flat tires. <laughs> um, you know. Stupidly, I installed you didn't the get, tires they sent with it. Yeah, so. you didn't get the Santa Cruz Reserve wheels. No, I didn't. I'm a, you know, <laughs> WTB I'm guy. I'm super fan. Yeah, cool. Um, I like how the, yeah, they can uh, be totally broken and still pretty yes. much straight. Cool. Now we got that out of the way. We are good to go. Oh, just launched my seat into my nuts. That did not feel good. Never happen on a reverb. First day, first ride. Test the waters. Some sharp stuff. I remember this one. Cool. I like that little skidding noise. <laughs> the chirps. What's your favorite uh, trail in Moab Reed? Max 7 to Portal, okay. I have never done that. A couple of years ago, outer bike, I did part of Max 7, but I've never done the full run down. I'd say actually my favorite is riding it from home. Yeah, uh, climbing all the way to the top. So yeah, you can pedal start at the bottom of this trail, and you pedal around about 40 miles straight single track. Nice, 40 miles of single track from home. That's pretty cool. It's harder and harder and harder. <laughs> 
<laughs> Got my buddy James ahead of me. Rode together in Downeyville, which was really cool. Oh yeah, that was your first Downeyville run too. It was, yeah. That was a great day. The first run, James was just feeling beat up. His breaking hands were done. Yeah. He wasn't thinking he could do another run, but he did and got through the second run like a boss. Why does it seem like every other bike is more poppy than my Bronson? Must just be suspension settings. So first test. Good flow. Woo. Got GX Eagle on this thing. No worries. Nice little exposure test. All kinds of little tests on this trail. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Beautiful out here. Look at that. Endless, amazing scenery. Ooh, a little slippery. Use that grip. What's the saying, Brian? Pain and pleasure. Pain and pleasure. This is actually a little more fun because the last time I was riding with my brother and he just hammers so hard. He's his legs and lungs are right. invincible, so as much as I'm suffering right now, this is nice. Thomas from Salt Lake City on the high tower. Got the I-9 wheels, the red spokes. Let's see if I can catch him. Oh, that was that. <laughs> that was a quick one. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> nice. Nothing but grip until you hit this stuff. I remember this. All oh, the voice is going. It's a little dry. Solid group. Yep. They're all right here. Hopefully it'll get more techie. I'll leave them in the dust. Wrong gear for that. Get a little taste. Yikes! Wow. <laughs> oh my God. The real deal. Yeah, I forgot my old XT trail pedals that have been with me for years and years on the Rayon when I sent it back. So I donated those to Orbea, <laughs> probably never see them again, but I had already ordered a brand new set from Amazon just because they were just feeling, it was feeling like it was time for new pedals. And I'm glad I did because I can feel how much easier it is to clip in and clip out of these. <laughs> six years or whatever i had those pedals it was a good run oh first rim hit <laughs> Woo! front brake there it is <laughs> looking for that green line Woo! <laughs> there we go. Yeehaw. About time 
guys. Yeah. You're breathing hard? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a pace going. <laughs> oh, that was serious. <laughs> got Pat ahead of me here. He's from SoCal. Him and three of his friends came out on this trip. Super cool. And he's gone. It's probably only 70 degrees or something, but it feels pretty warm. Pure sun. Got a nice little grunt ahead of us. <laughs> Invented a line. <laughs> Go where the bike took me. This is a perfect intro trail for this trip. Get everybody worn out. Get seeing things you've never seen before. And uh, it's a good thing to get out of the comfort zone. Definitely got a rub going on. I wonder if it, the camera's picking it up or not. Very subtle. Brake pads are rubbing. Slowing me down. Good first run. I'm jazzed about that. Where's everybody else? Yeah, there they are. <laughs> They're like perfectly hidden behind the vans. <laughs> Climbs like a goat, descends like a demon. Probably the best bike I've ever ridden. I'll just say I say that over and over now. <laughs> so we got Coke, so I'm beer obviously, there's seltzer water, Diet Coke, lemonade. Coke. Coke. As they say in uh, England, full fat, yeah. Full fat? I don't know why they say that. It's sugar, not fat. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Hey. So Steve got us all jerseys and hand up gloves sent some BKXC gloves for everyone. So it's awesome. <laughs> the goodie pack. Oh, that door's gonna swing again, hang on. There we go. I'm gonna do a little brake maintenance here. They're kind of rubbing. This feedback sports stand is so nice. I don't think I've, I've heard a lot of, about them, but I've never actually played with it in real life. And this is something to behold. All right, I'm gonna mooch off of Thomas's toolkit, and this is really nice to be able to have it all clear and be able to see everything, but I don't wanna open this up and have it all flop out. Help, I need an adult. I'm just gonna do the old loosen up the brake caliper a little bit and have it find its center. Eh, it sounds a little bit better, but not much. What you gonna do? I'm no mechanic. I'm also gonna move these bad boys out a little bit more. Get a little more thumb access. Dinner time. Oh yeah. I thought you might be happy. <laughs> I could smell it from a mile away. Another fantastic dinner. I've been on a string of awesome, fantastic meals so far, and uh, I hope that doesn't stop anytime soon. Really good group of people here. I'm so amazed to be able to somehow work the universe in my favor to bring these people together and come and ride and do this trip and so grateful so grateful for being able to live this life because of you guys so uh it's time to hit the hay it's only about 8 30 right now but i'm tired enough i'm gonna hit the hay and uh we'll get going tomorrow thanks for watching you guys i'll see you on the trail <laughs>